Welcome to Live Road Talk Show Beat Creeps. Can you believe it? We're already halfway through 2016. What's been your best memory so far? I believe it has to be this show and meeting all the awesome people we've been and doing all those challenges. I think one huge thing that's happened so far is our YouTube channel, Bamboo John Happy Game. 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I hope that my own TV, the YouTube channel B Cruises uploaded on, will also get similar numbers very soon. On that note, I've noticed that we've got tons of attention for the show now. So without further ado, who is our guest today? Well, we're really happy to announce that we have our second ambassador today. Ooh, In wow. fact, his name is His Excellency Arslan Okchal, the Turkish ambassador to Korea. Uh, okay. And he loves eating seafood. So he's going to take us to the seafood market today. I'm pretty excited. Does that mean another eating challenge? That means another eating challenge. No. So guys, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go for a bee cruise. Another episode of Beer Crew! Back again. Hello. Uh, Seatbelt on. Seatbelt on for safety. Okay. So, back again. We back are again. Mm, where are we going today? We are headed to Sangbukdong. Sangbukdong? Sang oh, okay. Sangbukdong is kind of like the Beverly Hills of Seoul. The what? Beverly Hills of Seoul? I've never been to Beverly Hills, so I'm kind of excited. Yeah, this is a great place. Uh, some, <laughs> some of the houses there are bigger than castles, really. Wow. What? In Korea? Yeah, in Korea. Man. There are houses with pools up there. There are houses oh. with tennis courts up there. What? Not there are about houses Beverly with Hills. real grass yards up there. What? Are we talking about houses? Houses. Not actual houses. 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 Oh, oh, amazing. Oh. That's so cool. Anyway. This Beverly Hills area, mm. where exactly is it? Is it above, like where the blue house, above the blue house? It's kind of like, like where we went on our first episode. That's right, up in that area. Lovely. Oh. So it's the northern part of Seoul. And yeah. this is where the so-called old money of Seoul is. <laughs> Where's the new money? Gangnam. Of course, Gangnam. So these houses um, are just palatial. They're just some of the walls. I like the, they have walls. Oh yeah. Well, wow. because it's it's a hilly area. This is Samcheongdong. This uh, this way has all the nice little, the Hanok traditional Hanok village place. Uh, yeah, yeah that, up here on the right. Yeah, up here on the right. And there's lots of little restaurants and cafes for people to go to. It's a good date area. I came here and did one. Oh, did you? I did. You saw where we just were. We were right down in the middle of Seoul. Now we're in the middle of a forest. Now we're going up a hill. This is beautiful. Yep, this is beautiful. But it Very is a lot nature. more floral now that I get well, that's compared great. to last time. We were just getting the spring flowers last time, I believe, and now it's so many leaves, so green. That's right. Do you like the color green? I, love I prefer the color blue. Hmm. So we're, we're arriving right now, we're here. We are. Wow. Oh, this place is beautiful. Look at that, that's like a... a hey, it looks like... Like they in have dramas garage. where the rich people live. That's right. They have a garage or a garage. We see. Hello, Vikus. Welcome to be Cruise. Nice to meet you as well. Welcome to be Cruise. Master of Child, nice to meet you. How are you? Todd Sample, pleasure to meet you as well. Thank you. Can you watch out for the camera? It's a very busy place. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Great. Great, thank you. How are you? Hakan Okchal. Okchal. I'm Master Okchal. Okay, see what's on? Yeah. Yeah. You have to be safe on the big cruise. Okay, let's go. Welcome to another B Cruise live stream coming to you live from Seoul, South Korea. And sitting next to me is our very special guest today, His Excellency Mr. Arslan Okchal. Welcome, Mr. Ambassador. Welcome. Welcome to B Cruise. 
Did I pronounce your name right? Well, yes. Okay. Uh, my <laughs> full name is Arsan <laughs> Hakan Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm happy that you, everybody calls me Arsan. Okay. <laughs> well, I will call you Mr. Ambassador, of course, because we should follow protocol I'm here today. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you for having me today. Mm. It's a great honor for me, but uh, of course a challenge as well. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, we'll try to make it as, as fun and as interesting for you as we possibly can. And I'm looking forward to, to a nice day. Great. Okay, so you have been in Korea for how long again? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. And okay. uh, we arrived actually at the beginning of 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, and since then, um, we here as ambassador, but yes. I also cover North Korea. Ah, okay. So, also. so do you go back and forth? Well, I, I visited only once Pyongyang, okay. uh, and uh, you know we have always the crisis situation. So, yes, of course. So uh, we can't always go there. Always in a state of crisis, right? But. Uh, must be quite a surreal place to visit. Yes, it was uh, interesting. Uh, it was a different place. Mm -hmm. uh, I stayed, uh, I actually I went with my wife there, we stayed ab about a week there. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And I presented my credentials. Oh, uh, did you? Wow. So the uh, normative president of uh, ah, Korea. Uh, Very interesting. <laughs> we are oh, yes. headed up towards the Blue House, that's why security ah. was so tight. I, are we allowed to go? We are waiting to find out. One in white suit, one in the a secret blue. service kind of looking people. Wow, this is this is really interesting for me. So you haven't been here before? No, first time ever. But this reminds me of like the road up to Buckingham mm. Palace. Yes, with the flags. Yes, everything, everything, the guards, the flags, mm. the trees. So on the left side here, you have Gyeonggi Palace, like the rear gate, the north gate of Gyeonggi Palace, and coming up here on your right, this way. On, the, on our right, we on can right. see. Oh, that is blue. wow. It is blue. And all the tourists on the left side taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is really interesting. Mr. Ambassador, have you been here many times before? Yes, I've been here many times. Um, <laughs> I presented my credentials mm -hmm, uh, to Madame President mm -hmm. Wow. And also, uh, usually when we have high-level visitors, uh, we are also uh, visiting the Blue House. Uh, and uh, the Madam President also invites us for oh, receptions. I see. Okay. Wow, I see. lovely. That must be Especially great. So uh, I have visited at least five times. Oh, ah, so. okay, okay. So, I to... so, so how do you find living in Korea? Well, very enjoyable actually. Okay. Um, first of all, it's a very clean and secure place. Mm -hmm. Oh. And mm -hmm. uh, and it's a very disciplined, organized. Uh, country. Okay. Uh, we have a good good relations with Korea. That's so, right. right. Uh, I'm always surrounded with friendly people. Mm -hmm. So that's why I f find it uh, very enjoyable uh, to serve in Korea. So, in your opinion, how would you say that uh, Korea and Turkey are similar? What what things do they have in common? Well, they have a lot of uh, things in common. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, of course, um, we are as a nation. Um, um, we have born in Central Asia, yes. so to say. Uh, so we have deep roots in the Asian culture, mm -hmm. and we speak uh, Ural Altaic language. That's right. So, so our languages well. uh, belong to the same family. Mm -hmm. in, in our deep past, uh, we adopted some cultural uh, things that we share uh, in common with Korea. Uh -huh. uh, many social uh, I mean, uh, rituals, mm -hmm. uh, I should say. Uh, are very similar with oh, each other. Right. How we treat our houses, mm -hmm. how we treat our families, wow. how yeah. we treat our neighborhood. They are almost the same. Um, for instance, uh, the Turkish uh, family also takes uh, out its shoes. Uh, oh, when you enter the house. Ah. Uh, so, so the house must be clean and pristine. Uh, yeah. So you, you are not allowed. Uh, so we know that, uh, as we said, that Koreans have a strong affinity for Turkey. Yes. Uh, so from the other direction, how about, how do Turkish people see Korea, especially young people? Yeah, there is a lot of interest in Korea, mm, because okay. of, first of all, because of our history, mm -hmm. uh, historical relations, right. because of the war, there was always a, a good feeling towards Korea. Oh, okay. uh, Korea has always been seen as a friendly country, mm -hmm. as a brother country, yes, actually, right. as a Korean city, Turkey. But nowadays, young people, uh, are more interested in the future, you know, mm. in the achievements of Korea, right. and also the Hallyu. Yes. Uh, ah, yes. K 
K-pop, K-drama. K-pop, K-dramas. <laughs> they are also popular in Turkey. Oh, really? Uh, they don't. I don't. I don't think they define it as such as Hallyu. Okay. But they say uh, they they are they know the K-pop, yeah, the yeah, charm yeah. K-pop, of yes, course. Right, right. Uh, some of the films and TV series, uh -huh. series. Uh, so some of them are, are also shown in Turkey, uh, uh -huh. like like the jewel in the palace. Yes, that's right. That's correct. So. Um, uh, it was very popular in Turkey as mm -hmm. well. Okay, yeah. very good. Is it? Yeah. It's very, 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 very colorful. Mm -hmm. very <laughs> I'm so smiling. There. We actually have uh, two questions that are very similar from our viewers. Jess Iza asks, is there a place in Turkey people don't usually visit, but they should? Uh, Black Sea is not a place that many visitors don't go, but uh, the Black okay. Sea region is unique, uh -huh. it's very very rich in culture and mm, traditions. Okay. So I would of course re recommend uh, visitors the to visit also some places in, okay. in, oh. in the Black Sea region. That is actually a perfect segue because uh, our master Timothy Emmanuel asks, where would you recommend to go along the Black Sea where there are historical places? Like are there any specific parts of the Black Sea? Uh, I would recommend uh, a, a town called Trabzon, uh, Trabzon, and Samsung, mm -hmm. and also Samsung, yes, not Samsung. Uh, Samsung. <laughs> Sam, Sam, Samsung. Uh, so you bought property uh, there uh, too. The, the name was uh, thousands of years yeah, before, oh, yeah. Yeah, before Samsung before. was established. <laughs> <laughs> Samsung and also Amasra, for instance. Mm, Amasra. Snop, Snopi. Mm -hmm. yes. mm, very interesting. The sea. Smells like the like sea, like, right like, here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It's a pretty big one. That's Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice color. It turns on us. Looks. Yeah, it looks something like. Yeah, I don't want that in my mouth. <laughs> and we see the, the the king crab up there as well, yeah. trying to escape. Oh yeah, that's that's it. That's, that's really delicious. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's go see. Let's see. <laughs> you like that, do you? Uh, the, yeah, <laughs> raw octopus. Look at that. <laughs> there it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. that. Look at that. Yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, Mediterranean style, beat it against yeah, the rock, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to beat it too. So, so slimy. So slimy, but so good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's caught me. <laughs> All right, so we are here at a restaurant inside Noryangjin Market, and we are going to have prepared for us the fish that we have just picked out. And in addition to that, we're going to have a small challenge. Small. A small challenge. challenge. So, looking forward to that. Okay. Uh, Today I prepared some questions. Uh, that's a challenge, but don't take it to the hard <laughs> So I'm starting with the first question. Okay. Okay. Who is the founder of the Republic of Turkey? Oh, you don't even know. Uh, okay, um, Kemal Ataturk, whose picture is on the wall of every Turkish building. This is not fair. This is a rigged challenge just for Todd to catch back up in points. I'll give you a full point about it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank wow. you. Okay. Come on, so, right. Thank you. What's the capital city of Turkey? Todd. I didn't hit I. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Istanbul. No. <laughs> Happy. Happy. Ankara. 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 Oh, he, he gets the point. How many seasons are there in Turkey? Tut. There are four seasons in Turkey. All right, Tut got the question. Oh. So. <laughs> four seasons. Okay. Isn't there four seasons everywhere? No, some countries don't No, they've got the hotels. <laughs> True or false question? Okay. There are three seas around, surrounding Turkey, and there are Black Sea, Asian Sea, and the Mediterranean. True or false? Happy. 
False. Papa Jack, true. <laughs> ah, 50 50 again. Okay. I'm always gonna pick false. Oh, Mediterranean Black Sea and Asian, and there is an inner sea which is called the Sea of Mamba. Ah. Which countries are Turkey's neighbors on the European continent? Greece and Georgia. Okay. A. B. Bulgaria and Greece. Okay. C. Bulgaria and Azerbaijan. Oh. D. Romania and Greece. Happy. C. Todd B. Todd B. Ah! Happy. <laughs> ah. How many tourists visit Turkey last year? A, 5 million. B, 10 million. C, 20 million. D, 40 million. Pamujan, 40 million. 40 million. Pamujan gets surprised. Ah. <laughs> How did you know? I didn't want to, you know, say a lower number. I thought you guys would pick the best one. <laughs> but I thought uh, you spent all the night studying about it. <laughs> What was the final result of the soccer match between Turkish and Korean national teams in 2002 World Cup? Wait, Korea 2, Turkey 4. All right. Uh, uh, Turkey 3, Korea 2. Todd wins because he, he, knew, he knew the result already. I, I, was, uh, I, was, I watched the game. I was watching the, the game. game. Yeah, I was watching the game. Yeah, that, that was my favorite. Thank you very much. Who won actually? I think Todd won. Todd won. Ah, fine. It's pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Only the winners will be able to eat the seafood today. I'm sorry about Mukta. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Hello. <laughs> wow, look at that. So how how do you say uh, bon appetit in Turkish? Ah, uh, taste also. Uh, taste is good. Do you know why? Because we have the Halmoni's sonmat, the taste of the taste of her hand. That is delicious. Ah. And I think we should try it once. Yeah, yes. I have. Tr I've had. I have had it. So yeah, let's take a uh, little bite here. I think I'm going. To Let us try this. Oh, he's already got it. He's already in. Mm. It's really good. It's very good. It's just chewy. And to you as well, Bonjour. You tried, huh? The flounder. Uh, yeah. Flounder. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Oh. You like it? I adore seafood. Ah. Oh. This gentleman has been very kind to me, but here's the texture. It's very chewy. I love chewy foods. Okay. But chewy. for the suction cups, when you bite into them, they're crunchy almost. <laughs> yes. mm, beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Now, come on. This is one of the challenges of eating in Korea. So as you see, generally Koreans use steel chopsticks, which is good for almost every food, except a few. This being one of them. So, I've been using chopsticks for almost 40 years and... You can't get them. It's not easy. It's, there you go. This is a shade. I'm throwing shade on Master Todd right now. <laughs> of course, with the wooden chopsticks, it's much easier. So, there's a little bit more friction in there, so it's much easier. But as you can see, it's still moving. I love it. Still moving. Still moving. Or a mermaid. Or a mermaid. I'd rather Mom. eat a mermaid than my father. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so now we're going from the flavors of Korea to the flavors of Turkey. Mr. Ambassador, what do we have here? Well, we have baklava, the tra traditional Turkish sweet, which we eat after. Uh, meals, okay. and this is the Turkish delight, which 
It's called in Turkish lokum. Uh, that's the treat. Uh, but you can have it alone or with coffee. And oh, thank you. Very much. Okay. So, so more right. not getting. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, more of that. Mm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, more of that. Wow. Mm. I did not expect that taste. <laughs> so maybe we should try as well try. the lokum. This is uh, pistachio, I think, and okay. that, that could be a, a hazelnuts from Turkey as well. Oh, yeah. Or the pistachio one in front of the mm. 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 That is good. Yes? That is good. Mm. Yes? Oh, it's chewy! Okay. Wow, fantastic. Well, I can, uh, can I say, uh, Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Right, right. Uh, Gamsamnida. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, what are the, the key aspects that, that a diplomat should have? Like, what characteristics should a diplomat have, do you think, in your experience? Well, um, uh, it, it would be a little bit boasting of uh, yourself, but uh, mm -hmm. first of all, uh, you, you, you need uh, to read you throughout your life. Secondly, uh, you need to have a, a very steady uh, personality. Ah, okay. Uh, mm. Because, uh, I mean, ups and downs, sure. uh, and um, um, I would say uh, a very tumultuous way of life is uh -huh. not fit for, for a diplomat. Yes, right. So uh, it's a little bit uh, scary, maybe. Okay. Because you have to control yourself a lot. Uh -huh. You have to have inner peace yes, uh, right. as well. So you talked about the uh, language section during yes. the test, right? Yes. So Jiang Li would I asked, how many languages can you speak? I do speak German and English uh, well, to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then I, I speak well French a little bit. I, I, I understand Arabic. Mm -hmm. uh, and on top of that, of course, I have Turkish. Oh, of course. Right. My uh, mother did. So you've been in no, 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 no. Germany, and where else have you served? Um, in many countries. I, I served in Libya first, oh, okay. then Germany. Then uh, Italy, uh, oh, Brussels, yeah. again Germany, mm -hmm. Greece, what else? Uh, uh, Nigeria, Macedonia, uh, these are uh, in, in, in Korea as okay, well. Right. But uh, I've been to many countries. Yeah. Ah. Right. So, what was the most memorable moment while being a diplomat then? You mean uh, pleasantly memorable or uh, both? Both, both. Right, because I think both. The one was there, there is there is, there is there is one episode I, I remember and I, I don't think I can ever forget it. Mm -hmm. I was in Nigeria mm -hmm. and uh, there was there were two uh, young Turkish uh, engineers mm -hmm. working in the Delta region and they were kidnapped. Oh, uh, oh. oh. And it took me 15 days to rescue them. Oh, wow. uh, and sometimes I didn't participate directly. Mm -hmm. I was afraid that something would happen to them yes, because I felt right. responsible Spassible for them. Right. Right. And I was in Abuja and they were kidnapped about in Port Harcourt, uh, in, okay. in the jungle. Mm -hmm. We negotiated and we rescued them. Wow. So the 15 days was a hell intense, of a time, right, a very right. tense. Wow. And then uh, the day uh, I spoke to, uh, on the telephone with them, and they said, we are fine, don't worry. Ah, okay. uh, that wow. was a great relief for me. It's a huge burden is released yes, from yes, your shoulders, yes. right? How many people can say that they were part of a successful kidnapping negotiation? Wow. <laughs> that, wow. So, that boggles my mind. So, how do you, how are you trained or how do you learn to to deal with that? Of course, negotiation is a really important nice part. Uh, I mean, perseverance, you have to have patience. Okay. Uh, and, uh, I mean, you, you should never offend uh, the, the party that you are, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you should be very careful and uh, don't, uh, don't try to, to put him in a difficult mm -hmm. position. So what are your future plans and goals, Mr. Ambassador? Well, they are very simple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in two, two and a half years, maybe two years, I'm going to retire. Are you oh. retired? <laughs> so we retire around the age of 65. And it's 65, oh. actually, not around. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Is Korea so, your final post then? Possibly, yes. Ah, possibly, okay. yes. Okay. And I'm looking forward to going to my summer house in Bodrum. Ah, on, okay. on the Mediterranean coast. Oh, wow. I want to sail, I want to, to ah, lie down okay. on the beach. and uh, I want to read a lot of books that I couldn't read. Uh, yes. I want to <laughs> consume all wow, of this. Fantastic. And I want to travel as well. Perfect. Oh, more travel. More okay. travel, yes. But not uh, for yes. business, for pleasure. Not for right? just, I mean, out of constraints. Uh, right. No, no time limits. Uh, sure. <gasps> so we just have time, Mr. Ambassador, if you could uh, pick the best question that our live chat viewers have asked today. I think uh, what uh, the most uh, 
challenging, uh, the most challenging uh, thing in your career was the best question okay. that I received. Uh, All right. Wow, there's lots of flags here. But I can say that that question made me really hungry. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so, how was it today? I enjoyed the drive and the conversation and the questions. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much for, for sharing your time with us today. It was a Thank pleasure you. learning Thank about Turkey. Much. Thank you. It's and so what we'd like you to do, like think something? of some kind of inspirational to our viewers. Thank you all. Thank you. Woo! Okay, wow, fantastic. Okay, Mr. Ambassador, so would you like to help us say goodbye to our viewers today? Yes, thank you. Perfect. See you next time on Bee Cruise. Bee Cruise.